Hello and welcome to the Youngsters of Zion. Going through the comedians again. I'm Barley Worth. This is Scott Ambrose. Yeah, he's yeah, good pace in uh, responding to that, Scott. Thank you very much. We're going to uh, look through Frank Carson on the comedians today. You're welcome. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're hearing through a delay. All right, so um, we're going to go through that today. So uh, let's have a bit of a play, Scott. I'm just thoughtful with my answers. Yeah. All right. Okay, good. Yeah. Press K. <laughs> you know what they're like in Liverpool for football? Fanatics. So this Everton supporter is walking up Scotland Road and he takes this dreadful pain in the stomach and he dashes into the doctors and there's two doors. It said male patients, female patients. So he walks into the one marked male patients and there's two more doors. And it said panel patients, ped patients. Well, he's not on the panel, so he's under the one marked ped patients and there's two more doors. Everton supporters, Liverpool supporters. <laughs> he walks into the one marked Everton supporters and found himself out in the Scottish road again. <laughs> <laughs> he's a God. He does have a Beatles hair, doesn't he? He does. He's got he look good hair. With Buddy Holly glasses. <laughs> God, he looks like he could survive a plane crash. <laughs> what? They should make the planes out of him then. Yeah, exactly. So they never crash. Mm. Well, he's crashing now, isn't he? Uh, it's alright it's all right so far. Kind of just telling jokes, really, isn't it? It's just sort of you know, yeah. no, no real story. <laughs> no, no, that, there was a story about football. Yeah, just basically saying Everton supporters shouldn't be shouldn't receive medical attention because they're Everton supporters. What he was looking for medical attention? Yeah, that's, that's why I went to that's why I went to a hospital. I thought he was in the toilets. Oh, was it the toilets? I thought he was just going to the toilet. So he just wants the Everton supporters just to fuck off and piss themselves. Shit in the street, apparently. Yeah. Oh. Well, I heard they do they do stuff like that in Liverpool, apparently. What, the Everton fans? Well, I don't know about Everton fans. And we've all shat in the street once in our life. I've never shat in the street. You ever done a pee in the street? Yeah, I've pissed in the street, but not shat in the street. It's a distinct, it's, that's a quite a different situation. Like, I think when you're shitting in the street, there's a level of, you know, much more vulnerability than pissing in the street. <laughs> hey, have you had a shit in the street, then? No. Nah. Well, well, why are you saying we've all had a shit in the street if both me and you have not done it? <laughs> I mean, everybody else other than us. Everyone else other than us has done it. I reckon the majority of people have shit in the street. Mm. Okay. I don't I, There's not been a YouGov poll on it, but I reckon... I don't think, yeah, it'd be an interesting census, wasn't it? Wouldn't it? What? Uh, I don't let's, know. Uh, let's check, just check which uh, people have had taken a shit in the street. I reckon between the ages of, not excluding babies, they go in a, they got no. Well, they go in a nappy. Excluding the elderly and babies. Wait, are you counting people actually shitting? You mean shitting themselves or shitting on the street? There's a difference. Like, are they are they going bare ass and shitting on the floor in the street, or are you saying just shitting themselves out in the street? Well, it's both the same. You shit bare ass on the street, and then you pull your pants up. You're still going to shit your pants. Yeah, but if you shit your pants, you're not necessarily shit on the street. Even though it might trickle down, but it might just stay in your ass. So it's not like you're shitting. You're not deliberately. If you're shitting yourself on the street, you're not deliberately shitting, like, like taking a shit. If you're, if you're making yourself bare ass, you're deliberately doing it. Yeah, I think it's deliberately doing it. I don't think I don't think we should include accidents. Yeah, but exactly. I'm saying the majority of people are probably shit in the street. Oh, OK. Yeah. Mm. Good quality material to start on. Let's keep playing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I tell them, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Mr. Flanagan, yes. He says, this is the general foreman here on the building site. The shovels hadn't arrived. What will I do? He said, well, tell the lads to lean on each other till they come. I didn't get that one. <laughs> I think it was lean on the shovel. The shovels haven't came. Tell the lads to lean on the shovels till they come or something like that. Lean on themselves. Lean on each other. I don't know. Right, what will I do? He said, well, tell the lads to lean on each other till they come. Oh, each other. <laughs> tell yeah. the lads to lean on each other till they come. I don't really get that. 
because you're because he's saying that none of them worked anyway because all they used to do is lean on shovels oh okay yeah but now they're leaning <laughs> is, that, is that is that a common phrase lean on shovels i hear it a lot when i used to work <laughs> <laughs> but you never used to work that's, yeah that's a point yeah <laughs> you fucking idiot yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? i used to hear the phrase i lean on shovels a lot yeah because <laughs> i didn't work yeah Fucking hell. You make me want to shit on the street. Yeah. <laughs> I love this one. We need to hear this one. This, this, this is a crack of this one. It's only really actually going to be here. Well, that's his, by the way, that's his other catchphrase. Oh, uh, did he ever, did he ever, um, advertise crackers? I hope he did. Jacob's, yeah. Uh, Jacob's, okay. yeah. Yeah. It's a cracker. It's a no, cracker. Wait, it's a cracker. Man, a Christmas cracker. It's a yeah. cracker. Oh, I bet he was a fucking hoot at the Christmas table. Yeah. It's a cracker! And everybody would be like... Nice one. It's the way I tell them. Mm. <laughs> That's phrase. Yeah. God. This young Indian, he goes to Las Vegas, and he's got no money. So he sends up a smoke signal to his father in West Dakota. Smoke, smoke, puff, puff. <laughs> Send me some money. That's no answer. So he sends up another signal. Double smoke, puff. It's puff, puff, double smoke. Smoky puff. As quick as you can, send me puff, puff, double smoke. Some... Nothing. Just at that, there's a big atomic explosion behind them. And this big mushroom of smoke goes up and his father sends back a message. Puff, puff, double, double, smoke, smoke. What the hell are you shouting for? <laughs> He's changed a lot in the one picture, hasn't he? Yeah, he's had a haircut. Yeah. God. And his nose has been extended. <laughs> exactly. And they, they they love a sideburn, don't they, in this era? Oh, they did. Yeah. It's God. the way I shave them. <laughs> they wear like little little black they're black room glasses, sideburns. And uh wacky ties normally. Hmm. Yeah. Did you take all your outfit advice from this era? I don't have sideburns. I wish I could grow sideburns. You can't grow sideburns. No. You can grow a pretty good moustache, though. I don't think I can. <laughs> no, your 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 soul patch is always good. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's, I mean, this is taking years. Has it? How many years? <laughs> seven. Seven years. I've been doing this for seven years. Yeah. Where's the best I got? Mm. I mean, it didn't help that I kept accidentally shaving it off. Accidentally? Yeah, have you ever done that? You ever wanted to keep like a bit of hair on your face, and then all of a sudden you're like, mm. uh, yeah, yeah. So I suppose so. Yeah, so I don't like mistakes that you can't really fix. Yeah, I don't really just I, I grow I don't grow the thickest beard, but it's not like just a side. It's not just I can grow sideburns, for example, and things like that. And I've underneath I get quite a bit of hair, but in terms of the like the cheeks, yeah. it's fuck. Uh, also, yeah, a decent amount of hair. Yeah, yeah, mine's pretty uh, hairless. Really. Yeah. That's all right, then. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. Is, is it making it more difficult to wipe your arse? My arsehole looks like... <laughs> you ready? It's weird, yeah. Alan. My arsehole looked like someone stomped on a, uh, a spider. Ew. Like it's, like, it's just like a couple of legs sticking up. Oh, really? Like the hair. That's the amount of hair. It's not like someone's fucking shot a beaver. So you just got a few, a couple hairs and two legs in your arsehole? Well, not in them. Oh, okay. Well, coming out of it, then? Sometimes a couple of fingers, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three don't... is the magic number. No, three, no, no, no. That's too many fingers. Really? One finger. I'm not a professional. Yeah. You should just go out of someone that's got, like, webbed hands. It'd just be one whole piece in there. <laughs> That'd be too much. Yeah, like flippers. Get get. Yeah, you'd love a flip job, wouldn't you? Flip job. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's. Should we go back to old Frankie boy? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so I walked into the barber shop. He said a man's in front of me. The fellow says nine. He said he'll come back in the morning. Come back the next morning. He said a man's in front of me. The barber said six. He said he'll come back in the morning. Come on, then again. He said the next one. Man's in front of me. He said seven. He said he'll come back in the morning. The barber said to be apprentice barber. Come and see where that fella goes. So we followed out and came back an hour later and he said, where'd he go? He said, your house. <laughs> 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 
don't get that. I don't get these ones. <laughs> is it just you just have to say 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 these jokes in an accent with a bit of a wacky look look to yourself, and then you're a comedian? Yeah, and then you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hold on, go back to your house. Ha ha ha! Go back. Let's go back to your house. You should get your wacky glasses. Yeah, I should, shouldn't I? Let, let me get them. Yeah. Make sure you unplug your ears. Oh, they're there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I'll do that. I try, I try. 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 I that's a cracker. Can can you hack it? <laughs> you can handle it. <laughs> let's go back to Frank. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to Frankie. Let's go. Let's let's go. Go go back. <laughs> Sound like you should be selling pegs. <laughs> yeah. Irishman, the Scotsman, and the Englishman, cop of the cannibals. The cannibal chief said this. <laughs> cannibals. cannibals. <laughs> the, the cannibals. Can I, cannibals. Can, can, cannibals. <laughs> cannibals. Can, can I grab your balls? <laughs> can I have a can of balls and a tin of cocks, please? <laughs> <laughs> can I have a can of balls, a tin of cocks? <laughs> and can, can I have a large, a, vast, a, a large vat of spunk? <laughs> <laughs> cannibals. Cannibals. Can oh, God. Can I, have a, can, I, can I have a couple of cans of pubes? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where do you come from? He says, Glasgow. He said, stick him in the pot. He said to the second fellow, where do you come from? He said, I come from London. He said, stick him in the pot. He says, the Irishman, where do you come from? He said, Dublin. He said, let him go. So the cannibal says to the chief, why are you going to let? He said, Irish cannibal is right. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going to let that fella go? It's a lot fellow I had from Dublin in the pot. He ate all the bloody potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> he ate all the bloody potatoes. He ate all the potatoes. He's good, isn't he? You like him. He likes himself a lot more than most people like him, I think. Yeah. <laughs> he's, no, he's no Dave Allen, but he's good. Oh, did you like Dave Allen, did you? No, I thought he was good. Yeah, I like Dave Allen. Yeah. <laughs> we should we should have watched Dave Allen. <laughs> Just listen to other better people. Yeah, I love we've not watched one comedian that either of us like yet. Oh no, I like Ken Goodwin. That, that, and that's it. Oh yeah, like <laughs> yeah. I, always thought I like gonna, I, these are like celebrate like these were the best comedians. I thought I thought you were gonna like uh, say you like Kimar Bob. Who's Kimar Bob? Oh. I'm Kim and Bob. Yeah. So what you're saying? Are you saying that you love how it makes it? They make them look like they're the best. Well, they're the best. No, but you're saying this TV show makes it look like they're like the best or whatever. Oh, these were the best, weren't they, at the time? Yeah. No wonder the seventies were depressing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but it's not like like a lot of them have got better, better than the ones today. The show oh, is worse right. now. I mean, could to be fair, I mean, fucking hell. I mean, right. it was comedians that led to Thatcher being other actors, and then look at the comedians we've had now. And then yeah. what we're going through. Yeah. I blame the comedians. <laughs> what, for cause, causing coronavirus? <laughs> no, for causing a conservative government. Okay. I mean, that's twice, twice, twice in a row. Mm. I mean, who were the good comedians of the 90s? Joe Brand. I don't know who was good at yeah, that. Yeah. I don't even know, like Jack oh, Dean's big Rick Jack. Mayer. Yeah, but Rick Mayer was like late eighties, early nineties, I'd say. Uh, it was Jack D. Jack D was one of them. He was big then. Yeah. Um Lee Evans started becoming successful at the end of the nineties. Eddie is odd. Yeah. Uh who else? I don't know really. In the UK at least, I don't really know. Yeah, no, I think the 90s was a good year for comedians. Mm. Good decade. Alexis Sale, I don't know. <laughs> he was 80s. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah.
can't think. Oh well. Yeah. Let's just play. Kelly and Flanagan went into the circus. Everybody's called Flanagan in his jokes. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> it's obviously an Irish sort of thing. Oh, yes, Flanagan. Maybe talking about Mick, Mickey Flanagan. Mickey Flanagan. Oh, Mickey I like Flanagan. Him. Flag going out out. <laughs> we can't go out out now, can we? <laughs> no. I'm staying in. I'm staying in. In. <laughs> no, we're staying in. No, like, we're staying in. Uh, no, we're not. Again. We're not staying in. We're going in in. <laughs> that's what he said. That, that's what he says to it when he's banging his uh, bird. We're going in in. <laughs> Wife. Going in in. In. Oh. That's what he said. She, and she she, she says she says pull it out out. <laughs> in in. Pull it out out on my tits. Double in in. On my tits. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cracker on my tits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So we are show them. Flanagan. Staying oh. in in. Flanagan. Right, let's get back to Frank or Carson. So Kelly and Flanagan are doing something. They're doing something. Table tennis balls on the jets of water. So he lifted up the rifle. He said, watch this. Six of them. <laughs> he likes doing it. He likes, he likes making sounds, onomatopoeic sounds, doesn't he? Like, <laughs> smoke. <laughs> he, sound, I wrote, he sounds a bit like a, like a parrot or something. Cracker, yeah. cracker, cracker. <laughs> <laughs> Carson wants a cracker. Carson wants a cracker. <laughs> Carson wants a cracker. <laughs> it's a way I tell him. Yeah. It's a cracker. And some cheese. <laughs> potato, potato. It's a way I tell him. Carson wants a cracker. Put <laughs> 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 uh, a mirror in front of him. He throws yeah. a blanket over Frank. Frank right blanket. He, he, went, he goes to sleep. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. The parrot could do his act. Yeah. <laughs> he got me, he must have a different rifle. It's a different it's a rifle. One goes and the other one goes bang. I think Flanagan went bang and then it was the woman Kelly that went. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'll say what I was gonna say. It's a family act. Yeah. Okay. He says, "How'd you do that?" He said, "I shot the fella pumping the water." <laughs> He's looking, he looks like Elton John there. He looks like Elton John. <laughs> you like that one? Hold, hold me closer, tiny dancer. <laughs> the headlights on the highway. It's a little bit funny. <laughs> this, my comedy act. <laughs> <laughs> my comedy is a little bit funny. Yeah. I I'm, I'm still standing doing stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could join none of that. No man, Alan John. <laughs> Irish, Irish, Alan John. <laughs> Just a can of wind, the wind. <laughs> 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 Don't let the sun go down on me. <laughs> Let let the fella do that one. <laughs> oh, Bernie! Oh, this fella called Fanagan and Bernie. He wrote my he wrote my fucking lyrics. <laughs> oh God, God! Sorry, sorry seems to be the hardest word. <laughs> it's so sad. It's a sad, sad situation. <laughs> <laughs> What Irish going on? I, Irish Elton John's good. <laughs> Ever since I was a young boy, I played the silver bar. <laughs> That's the fucking who? No, but he sang a cover of it. Did he? Yeah, he did. A very famous cover of it. Yeah, seriously. Okay. Yeah. I know nothing about Elton John. No? Well, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that little bit then. I, I didn't. Did I you? Hope one, I hope one of our fans enjoys it. Oh. That's nice. One of the five people that watch these. Yeah. I just want to say, those who are watching, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. So that's only the second time we've ever said that. Have we ever said it once? Yeah. When you said it in one video. 
and this oh, one. If you like Marley singing Irish Elton John, he's more than happy to come to your house during lockdown. Yeah. Within uh, within travelling distance and uh, do some yeah. uh, Irish Elton John songs. Within zones one to two. Yeah, within <laughs> zones one or two. That's mm-hmm. London. Yeah. Not the apocalypse yet. No. We're waiting for we're we're waiting for zone one and two for be the coronavirus yeah. the new regulation. Exactly. Yeah. God. The, right. cir- the circle of life. <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Harbin Senya, Maria Bishabria. <laughs> you had the best time of your life. <laughs> I've never been this happy. I know. It's for doing Irish Shelton and John just does it for me. Irish Shelton and John. <laughs> uh, uh, walks into a bar. <laughs> yeah. He walks into the bar. He says, ouch. <laughs> Tiny dancer. <laughs> Tiny tanks. <laughs> <laughs> An oh. Irish Elton Don walks into a bar with a horse. The barman goes, Why the long face? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. An Irish Elton John, an Irish Scottish Elton John, <laughs> and an Irish English Elton John. Yeah. I oh, wish some cannonballs. Elton John. His real name's fucking Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's press play now. My, my real name's Reggie Tricker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from I'm from Dur Dur Dur. <laughs> I'm not that I'm not actually that I'm not actually that special. Elton John always talks about the his fucking dad leaving him. That's the same for any fucking Irishman. That's why it's not an Irish Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> he probably went to New York to help construct. <laughs> oh God. Oh God! I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> His new album comes out Finnegan's Wake. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. <laughs> <laughs> he does a lot of Irish style stuff. Exactly. exactly. You're a scumbag, you maggot. You're a cheap, lousy man. I won't be using that word. I wouldn't be using my people. I wouldn't be using that word. I don't want to just. I don't want to talk about my fucking self. <laughs> right, let's get back to Frank Carson. Yeah, my mum was fucking mean to me. <laughs> let's play. And uh, the Pope has made a fortune out of his new book, <laughs> The Pills Grim Progress. <laughs> <laughs> the Pilgrim Progress. What's the Pilgrim Progress? Pilgrim's Progress. Oh, uh, oh. Uh... <laughs> it looks a little bit like Austin Powers from the side as well. Oh, for God. <laughs> I'm not going to do an Austin Powers impression, don't worry. <laughs> Go on. No, I can't do an Austin Powers. Just pretend he's out and John. <laughs> no, I can't do that, though. What was one of the sayings from uh, Austin Powers? Uh, groovy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mojo as well. That's gravy. Yeah. That's it's... gravy, that is. I don't know what that accent is. That's gravy. It sounds like something from Coronation Street. <laughs> that's that's okay, fucking that's... gravy. That's gravy, that is. That's gravy. Fucking Flanagan's gravy. Available now. <laughs> An Elton John audiobook. <laughs> oh, God. Let's finish the rest of this. <laughs> any of that no he wasn't that good was he you don't like him no i liked his voice i mean we could always watch schopenhauer no, studies of not... pessimism yeah i think we should i think our, our, our entire youtube channel is a study of pessimism <laughs> <laughs> so that's been the youngster of zion i'm marley worth this is 
Dan Carson. It's been a cracker. It's been this is Scott Scott Ambrose and um, hey, Elton Finnegan. And we've been uh, the youngsters of Zion. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Trackers, man. <laughs>